on the side down the seam and it, what it does it tends to, tend to uh, cock your wrist so your actually your action is going that way to get the away shape and um, generally that is hopefully if I was to bowl a delivery um, the ball should hopefully shape out but what is making the ball swing we asked physicists from the University of Sheffield to find out Matt Carey has put a cricket ball inside this wind tunnel. Jets of smoke blast down the tunnel to simulate the flow of air around a ball travelling at high speed. To get swing with a cricket ball, you have to have a ball that's asymmetric. So you have a smooth side to the ball here, you have a rough side here, and you point the seam in this direction if you want the ball to travel in this direction. Because this side is smooth, the airflow around this side of the ball is what we call laminar flow, which is a very smooth, ordered flow. But because of the, uh, how the laminar flow operates, it separates from the ball quite early. So the boundary layer might separate around here. So you get a wake behind this side of the ball in this direction. On the other side, however, you have flow which is laminar to begin with. It reaches the seam, and the seam trips it into turbulent flow. So you have a turbulent boundary layer and a turbulent boundary layer will stick to the ball for longer and separate later. So you end up with a resultant wake coming in this direction. Therefore you have a force acting on the ball in this direction. So as the ball travels through the air it will swing in the direction the seam is pointing. Like that. We're looking at the ball from above. It's travelling in this direction. It's coated with a layer of air that flows round the ball called the boundary layer. This layer clings to the shiny side and then leaves the ball causing a wake. The boundary layer is tripped by the seam and becomes turbulent on the rough side. This turbulent layer sticks to the ball for longer. The wake puts more pressure on this side of the ball, making it swing to the right. Scientists have discovered that the best swing happens when the ball is new and travelling at 70 miles or 113 kilometres per hour. Changing the direction of the seam alters the way the ball will swing. In the 1970s, the great Pakistani captain Imran Khan discovered he could turn this science on its head. Imran found that he could swing the ball in reverse. Reverse swing happens when the ball swings in the opposite direction to conventional swing. The Pakistanis, they do it brilliantly and, and what happens obviously because it's so dry, the surface, um, when the ball um, rolls along the floor it, it gets very much scuffed up so what happens is basically both sides are pretty much roughed up and what they generally do is they won't get their sweaty palms um, on the ball and they'll, what they'll try and do is just make sure that their palms are away from the ball because they don't want the ball to get wet. Imran had no idea why the ball swung in reverse. He asked a childhood friend, Rabi Mehta, now a NASA scientist, who then spent years exploring the science behind reverse swing. This is what he and other physicists discovered. The ball is delivered in exactly the same way, but now you can see the whole ball is rougher. What happens now is you have turbulence on both sides of the ball. So as the air is travelling around the ball on this side, it's turbulent and it will separate fairly late. On this side of the ball, the flow is turbulent before it reaches the seam and the seam causes the turbulent boundary layer to thicken. Because it's a thicker layer, it leaves earlier. So in this case, the wake is in this direction. This means you have a resultant force on the ball in this direction, causing it to reverse swing, like so. Now the batsman's expecting it to go that way because he can see the seam, but it goes in the opposite direction. The ball is travelling in this direction. Air is turbulent round both sides of the ball, but when it reaches the seam, it's tripped and becomes even thicker. This thick layer peels away from the ball earlier, putting pressure on this side of the ball so the ball swings to the left. But what no one really understands is why the ball swings more during some matches than others. Rod Marsh. The times it swings most, as far as I'm concerned, is, is when there is this apparent bed of humidity over the pitch. That, to me, is when the ball really does swing more than other times. Now, why this happens, I don't know, but I just know it happens. And uh, as long as I can recognise 
the fact that it is going to happen as a player or as a coach, then uh, I'm quite happy with that. Perhaps the most mysterious of the bowling arts is spin. Australian Shane Warne is a master. This was Shane's very first ball against England in 1993, and he bowled out the captain, Mike Gatting. Perfectly pitched leg spinner, pitching just outside leg with a little bit of curve, and that's a beautiful delivery. Shane almost single-handedly made the long-lost art of spin fashionable again. As a result, he's occupied a central place in the Australian team for the last decade. Cricket academies are full of Shane wannabes. There is a place at which you get maximum spin, a place that you'll get the minimum. That's your maximum. Beautiful. Spin coach Terry Jenner explained the basics. Spin is in your fingers and your wrist, so a nice comfortable grip. Not the same for everybody, but there is a, a basic grip which spreads the ball pretty evenly through your fingers. The idea for a leg spin bowler is not to try and spin with his thumb, but you either rest the thumb on the ball or take it away. And then the index finger pulls down and the fourth finger, or the ring finger, spins up. What makes a great spinner? The gift of spin is in the fingers and wrists. It, it's truly a gift because you can't take someone off the street and say, gee, you've got a good build, you look like Shane Warne, I'll teach you how to bowl leg spin or off spin. It doesn't work like that. It's a gift that somehow or other uh, people are born with and because it's an unnatural thing to sort of be able to turn your fingers and wrist over and impart that, that sort of uh, the revolutions on the ball. And when you think that a spin bowler, and this is what's made Shane Warne so great, a spin bowler, flicking it out of his hand like that, has to send it through the air and land it in an area about half a metre round. It's an amazing art. There he is. Quicker one into the park. Some people are born with a gift of spin, like Indian player Anil Kumble. Another star, Sri Lankan bowler Mataya Muralitharan, bowls unerringly accurately. But his delivery was so extraordinary he was investigated for throwing instead of bowling. The investigators discovered he was born with double jointed wrists and a bent arm. Can science explain why the ball spins? Big spin all over. A spin bowler will put spin on a ball in all kinds of ways. And usually, um, the main point of putting spin on a ball is the interaction between the ball and the pitch. So, for instance, if the ball is spinning when it hits the pitch, it will deviate in that direction. The ball will also interact with the airflow. If 